Hello guys, welcome to VBA series. As we have written and run our first macro, now we are ready to go one level deep. We can learn how to control Excel objects like cell, ranges, and sheet. And edit macros that we have recorded. So let's record a simple macro first and we will see how to edit their macro. So first of all, what we will do is I want to do apply some formatting on the headers of this data. So what I will do is I will record a macro. So I will select my data where I want to apply and then go to developer tab and then here I will record a macro. We will name this as format data. You cannot put a space in the name of the macro name and then we can assign a shortcut. Let's assign a shortcut as control D. And if you want to use this macro in this workbook, then you will save over here and then select OK. Now our macro is recording. Now we will do what we want to do. So we have selected our data. Let's select it again and then go to developer tab. So go to home tab and here first I want text to be bold. I will press the bold. And then I want color fill to light blue and then select OK. Now I have applied everything I wanted and then go to developer tab again and then stop recording now. Now if we go to macros, we will see we have format data. If we go to macros, we will see now we have format data macro here. We can run this macro or we can step into it to see how does everything happen. What is the code behind everything? So we step into it and we can see this. So we have started our routine, which is sub format data. And then we have put a control D shortcut as well. And then we have selected the range A1 to E1 dot select and then selection font bold is equal to true. The text will be bold and then interior pattern and everything. And then we have theme color light two. So we can even write four or Excel theme color light two as well. If we write four over here only, it will give the same result. And then we end the routine. So this is what happened behind it. So now I will show you an interesting part. Now, for example, I want to use that same thing over here as well. And I don't want to do anything manual. I will go to macro game and I will run that again because we have already opened up the other one. So we need to close that one as well. Where we were editing the code, we need to close that. And then when we come over here, we will press over shortcut control D. Now you can see it have applied the same thing over here. So I have reused my macro here. And then over here, let's adjust the size. And now we have the same thing without any effort by just running our macro. We can even give a button to our macro as well, but we will learn this in our next video. Hopefully you understand how to write your macro and how to edit it. For example, we go back to over here and we can step into it and we can change the color as well. For example, let's make this false and close it. Now, when we run the code again, we don't have bold left now because we have put false instead of true. So we have don't have bold now. We only have simple text now. So hopefully now you know how to record a macro and then how to edit it, how to tweak it according to your requirements. And if you like this video, press the like button and follow for more videos like this.